The Woman King is set to release in theaters today, and even though it's been the subject of some controversy, some discussion online, to the surprise of absolutely no one, the critics love what they're seeing from The Woman King. No chance to see an audience score yet. However, already the star Viola Davis is making sure she tries to pressure everyone she can into seeing this by using the race card. Look at this headline. Viola Davis says that audiences who don't see The Woman King are supporting the narrative that black women cannot lead the box office globally. I'm not sure how many people knew of this narrative, knew that this was out there and are trying to support that, but according to Viola Davis, you don't go see this, you don't support the woman king, that's the message that you're sending. Now the reason that there is some controversy surrounding this movie is because it's based on historical events, things that happened in the early 1800s. Viola Davis plays essentially the leader of this group of female African warriors. And one of the things that people are pointing out is, you know, this is supposed to be based on a true story. And the reality is what this group of women did was they conquered a neighboring group of people and enslaved them and either kept those slaves for themselves or sold it to the Europeans into the slave trade. Now, I'm certainly not advocating that every movie has to be 100% historically accurate or whatever. In the same way that every time we do a period piece about the Revolutionary War or something like that and we're talking about these stories, I don't think you have to sit there and address every atrocity that maybe the people that you're portraying as the good guys, uh, maybe like, oh, George Washington owned slaves. It's not something that has to be addressed in every fucking movie. I don't really find... A a massive deal with that. But the thing that people are pointing out with the Woman King, at least the way that it was marketed, it certainly makes it seem like colonizers, like Europeans, like they're just the evil in this world. And take a look at this trailer. My king, the Europeans wish to conquer us. They will not stop until the whole of Africa is theirs. We must fight back for our people. Asking me to take them to war. War. Some things are worth fighting for. So that was one of the first trailers that came out about the Woman King and what it looked like to people where they were changing this story from, you know, warring African nations to, oh, white men are bad. Europeans are bad. The colonizers are bad. That's who we need to fight in this. Now, with people that have seen it, people I trust that have seen it, say that it's not necessarily that way in the actual movie, that the very much the other tribe is the enemy. Uh, Europeans are in the background. Obviously, they're part of the slave trade, but they're not like the main villains of this movie. So people aren't really going to be able to judge that for themselves until they see it. But now there can be no doubt that Viola Davis is making sure to play the race card with the promotion of this movie. According to star Viola Davis, any audience member who declines to financially support the woman king and see the film in theaters is supporting the narrative that black women cannot lead the box office globally. Uh, set in historical African kingdom of Dahomey, now modern day Benin, during the opening years of 1820s, the woman king tells the fictionalized version of the 1823 Dahomey Revolt, focusing on General Naniska, that's who Viola Davis plays, and her all-female warriors as they fight to liberate their state from subordination under the rival Oyo Empire. Despite the real world Dahomey Kingdom having heavily participated in the slave trade, um, so sometimes either they would take slaves themselves or they would sell them off to the Europeans. Reviews of the soon-to-be-released film indicate The Woman King will be handled this subject as depicting its protagonist as a leading voice in opposition of the practice. Now, like I said before, I don't expect anything to ever be 100% historically accurate for sure. Uh, but if it was the case that they took this movie, they used this as an opportunity to ignore the fact that these female warriors, these strong female African warriors were actually enslaving massive groups of people, not only for themselves, but also to sell to Europeans and instead just try to make it like, oh, the Europeans are the devil. Your white people are the devil. Yeah, I do think some people would have a big problem with that rightfully. So we'll see what happens when more people actually get to watch it. However, regardless of this particular stain on the kingdom's history, many reviewers have taken to lauding the film as a highlight of black excellence. And of course, race was a major point of them promoting this movie. And right now, that's the way that they're trying to guilt people into going to see it. Um, I was talking to your co-star, Lashana Lynch, and she said, I'm tired of these black movies just being a moment. And for some reason, she felt like this isn't just a moment. This can be the new normal. What do you think about that in terms of moving forward and making this normal? To this, Davis replied, absolutely, I completely 100% agree. But here's the thing I'm going to add. It will be just a moment if people don't come see the movie. 
because you're sending a very clear message to a machine called Hollywood. It just is. It's what I do. So if you don't come see it, you're sending the message that black women cannot lead the box office globally. You are supporting that narrative. And if you want to normalize it, come see it the same way you would Black Panther, Iron Man, Spider-Man, any other movies that doesn't have any of us in it. And in addition to that, I also saw another part, uh, another excerpt from these discussions that she was having on the red carpet at the premiere. And she specifically mentioned the box office. If it doesn't make money, then what it means overall is that what? Black women, dark-skinned black women can't lead a global box office? That's it, period. And now they have data on it because the Woman King did A, B, and C. That's what I'm conflicted about because it simply isn't true. We don't do that with white movies. We simply don't. If a movie fails, you do another movie and you do another movie just like it. I don't think that that's the case. Obviously, there are people who will take failures in the box office and continue forward, to, but to pretend like we're gonna be treated so unfairly because we're a black movie. They don't do this with white movies. White movies don't flop and then they just ignore it and do something else. I mean, Ghostbusters 2016, obviously it wasn't just a white movie, but uh, that's not a black movie as you would call it Viola Davis. That didn't go over very well, and what did they do? They completely erased it from history in the Ghostbusters franchise. So you can take things here and there and make your examples, but again, to try to play the race card to promote it, not surprised, can't say I'm surprised by that, uh, but to be sure, Viola Davis is trying to make sure you understand if you're not going to see this, if you're not supporting the woman king, then you're supporting the narrative that black women just can't do it at the box office. I think people are really sick and tired of the way that people, the people in Hollywood promote these movies. They use diversity as a shield to deflect criticism. And then they also use it as a guilt trip to try to make you come out and see it just because the color of someone's skin. People are sick and tired of this shit. We'll see what happens with the woman king when audiences act actually go and see it. We'll see how people feel they did adapting this real story. Also, I do just want to point out, uh, I often advocate for people to stop coming in and race swapping characters, race swapping characters that exist just simply to promote diversity and inclusion. Instead of including like actual stories, whether it's African folktales, African history, stuff like that, this is a situation where they did exactly that. They're going back and they're using something from African history. I'm all for movies like this being made. Now, again, if they if they try to change everything enough just to set the narrative that, well, nothing we did's bad. It's all the white man's fault. I do think that that is a problem overall, but we'll see what happens with The Woman King. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my P.O. Box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.